What up, y'all? What's going on, survivors? So we're talking different uh, defenses. Everybody always wants to do a defense uh, empty hand or something like that. And we like to stick fight. And I'm leaving my hoodie on because it's cold outside. And uh, basically we were looking for something that would make it a lot easier to uh, defend against a knife, which you know, will be off screen, but even if I was, I don't even know. <laughs> shows he, how he's got too much reach <laughs> anyways. He's got too much reach. I mean, even if I took, and I was going to show a little example of, if you need that, you need that out for a second there, buddy. Yeah. Even with a big blade, I mean, the reach differs. I mean, he could get me, uh, I could probably get his hands with the big blade, yep. but if he was quick and moved out of the way, it, yeah. it's just a great way to from combat point to, a knife. Point to point on that blade though too if he did have that out. <clears throat> I'm gonna be off screen again or whatever, but still yeah. having that distance, whatever, I can still hit his hand before he can hit my hand that with a blade. These things were like maybe I know it's a little over twelve inches or something like that, but this is just an ASP baton. It's not one of the cheap ones. It's one of the batons that work really well. This okay. one's the full size, nine inches to uh, 26. 26. And just the reach and the capability you have when you smack someone, I mean, it's like the one that the police carry. And I, I don't even know. We got them right off the website. They were probably, I, I used to have one. It was like six inches, used to pop out to 16, but now we went like full size. It just makes it a lot easier pretty much in any situation. If I have the knife and he's defending with the bent, <laughs> padded stick. This is what happens when you play with him and have fun with him. But anything, I, anything when I'm trying to come in, he's got so much, I, mean, I don't know what you want to try or whatever, if I'm going to stab him, and he, Even. Can, he can get out of the way so much easier, and I know it's not a sharp weapon. But, but you can still do an example of if you did actually get me on the wrist or anything. I mean, I can get on the outside, you know, and pop back on the side of the head. So it's just a different way that we were thinking versus a knife. And we like to practice, so we, yeah, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> just going back and forth. Oh, I cut you. No, you didn't. Everybody. Yeah, being able to see. I mean, I went on the outside of that one, too, even and if I, you came. I still had to get inside. It doesn't matter how. It, yeah, it doesn't matter pretty much. I mean, he's got so much room. And it's not fair either, like I said. He's also two feet tall and all that stuff. Kind of nice reach. But even if he takes the knife, never hands, you know, you practice tools, weapons. <laughs> to other people but even though we're like this now I can still I, I still got so much more room now than he does and if I put it out there oh yeah it's no problem you could and when you're hitting someone with a padded stick you know you're showing reference to it but if you do it with a baton if he if he had that out and I really went smack and I hit it you know, full power I mean you could destroy stuff with those ASP batons it's just another thing to keep in the pack you know some day I hate to say it, you might run out of ammo. <laughs> <laughs> it can't reload quick enough. It's uh, it's one of those tools, though. I mean, it, you have to look at the regulations on some of the states, and uh, um, some are okay for concealed carry. Some are okay for uh, open carry. Some states are kind of iffy. Some are like no, oh, like communist states. <laughs> <clears throat> but I mean, they're perfect for having something if you don't want to carry a, a gun. I don't know if you're afraid of a gun, whatever, but they're perfect. A little perfect. less lethal. Yeah, but I mean, you get caught carrying it, you know, in some of the states, it's uh, intent to harm or intent to even kill. I know uh, in New York, it, you could get a permit or whatever to carry it, to transport or whatever, uh, that was years ago. But if you hit someone in the head, it was like murder too. Right off. Yeah, it's, it's the same concept as basically brass knuckles or monkey fists. Yeah. Uh, exact same thing. Slung shot, according yep. to the law. Hit him in the arms, <clears throat> hit him in the legs if you can. But it is it is effective. I mean, I've taken this thing and, and beaten the heck out of wood. I mean, he's crushed concrete, bricks, and stuff like bricks. that with it. So, I mean, you can adjust the tension on the thing in the back here, too. Um, it's a great tool. It is a very great tool. I mean, Good I'll show you guys some of the different things. Good for defense altogether, I would say. That's where a knife, a knife is pretty much all offense. You're not really defending with it much, but... So that little thing right in there is what holds the tension. And you can actually pinch that a little bit for, you know, less tension, trying to get that thing out unless you want it extremely stiff. But it is a pain in the butt to get back in you if you have it. it yeah, if you snap it out too hard. I mean, 
I'll have a hard time popping this back into this and doing that. Click it out hard. <laughs> yeah, if I put it, smack it out, it ain't going back in unless I hit it pretty dig on hard. And it's nice enough and it's concealable enough that if you're walking or you could have it in a pack where you can, you could buy a holder for it. You can pop it out of your pack, click it on the side of your leg when you see a problem coming. Pretty. Now it's on the side of your leg, it's black. Well, say it's nighttime, you know, they're meant to be uh, weapons, meant to be felt. Say not he's seen. an assailant and he has a knife and he has my stuff, whatever, and I say, oh, I'm reaching for my wallet or whatever, I mean, I can have this thing ready and it's black. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> Just tap my finger with that, and that was close enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get hit with and that. And I barely, barely tapped him, but. That was my trigger finger, too. So <laughs> that's the tip of it and you're gonna get whacked hard um, if you're doing harder strokes instead of just when you're striking instead of doing pitter patter you know like, like you would maybe like uh, uh, say rattan or something like that this thing is for like a harder stroke you can just <laughs> cave in on somebody without a problem but it's these a, things on ASP uh, on their website these are 79 whatever 80 bucks uh, you could hurt someone with that thing closed. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, there's, I think it's probably about uh, somewhere in a pound, uh, just closed up and well, anyway, period, it's a pound. Um, so it's not light. It is something that's meant to be felt, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. So let us know what you think down in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, what kind of, we'll say, melee weapon uh, you guys like using or if you have or a good idea defense against a knife uh weapon oh, yeah. whatever instead of you know knife on knife yeah it's i mean a little bit different it's a is, dagger idea i guess you'd call it yeah, yeah this is an idea to just kind of keep the distance from somebody that's an assailant with a knife especially uh, when they're that big yeah they gotta reach <laughs> <laughs> well that's no guys all right have a good day see you